Welcome to Making Over Maui. I'm Sarah, guest hosting for Leah, who's got the week off. Today, we're at Neil Pride Maui in Kahului, where we're going to learn an inspirational story of a melanoma survivor and see how Neil Pride Maui is going to help make her active water lifestyle just a little easier. I'm here with Gus at Neil Pride Maui in Kahului. How are you doing today, Gus? I'm doing great, thanks. Good. Tell us about your store and how long you've been here. And Well, Neil Pride Maui was incorporated in 1998 with a strong background in windsurfing. And now, due to where all sports are going, we sell and rent everything, whether it be stand-up paddling, kiteboarding, windsurfing, outrigger canoe, OC1, foil boarding. We have everything under, underneath the sun involved in water sports. Not only are we a water sports store with uh, hard goods and equipment, we also have soft goods and clothing for action. Living here in Hawaii, it is very important that we do use skin protection when we're out in the sun a lot. Can you tell me about some of your products that you carry? Absolutely. We have a full range of wetsuits and rash guards, and it's also important to have a full range of sunblock and eyewear and hats. So Gus, you've lived here on Maui for quite a while now and you've had your own experience, I understand, with sun exposure and the effects that it can have. Yes, I definitely have. I've lived here for 21 years. This past summer I had a basal cell carcinoma removed out of the middle of my back and I definitely wish that I was more on it wearing a rash guard that had SPF 50 and sunblock. Yeah. I had it removed, it's all fine now, but now more than ever I'm super careful. Well, today we're going to meet Lisa, who has battled melanoma, and we're excited to be able to share with her some of your products. We're excited to have her in here. It's important to be involved in the community and give back, and we definitely can get her covered head to toe with a rash guard, a bathing suit, a hat, sunblock, and some eyewear as well. Fantastic. Lisa's story is a very interesting story. She um, is an oncology nurse at the oncology department at the hospital and um, she developed a very um, aggressive form of skin cancer called melanoma. And there's different types of skin cancer as well. Yes, there's three different types of skin cancer. Um, a lot of people have basal cell or squamous cell, which is typically curable by just surgically removing it. But unfortunately, melanoma is a lot more aggressive of a type of skin cancer. So we treated Lisa for the melanoma in our own department, which was um, very challenging and yet a very heartfelt experience for all of us nurses in the department. It was a year of treatment that she took, and so that was a very long year for her. And throughout that year, what we decided to do in the oncology department was we began paddling with a group of breast cancer survivors whose name is Mono Lana. Now she's a part of our crew and she paddled with us last year as well and what we really hope is that Lisa can be an example for people that have melanoma um, for them to be able to step back into the shoes of their life and continue to do what they love to do. So she's really been an example not only um, for us to be inspired by her story but also for the patients in our department to see that there is survivorship um, after a diagnosis of cancer. So she's really embodied that and it's, it's been pretty amazing um, to be next to her and to be by her side in this journey. Well this is Lisa. Hi Lisa. Hi Sarah. We were very fortunate to talk to Janelle earlier today and learned a little bit about your story. Can you tell me firsthand? Well, I was diagnosed with malignant melanoma about three years ago and how I found it, I had some rosacea on my face. So it started with my face and so I went to the dermatologist and, and I hadn't been for quite a while so she um, wanted to treat my face but saw some other things on my body too and said oh you gotta we gotta take care of these other things too and I had a little mole right here on the side of my arm mm -hmm. and this just started to bother me I just wasn't really sure so I went back and I said that was the first thing I wanted to have taken off right. so she took it off and I the next day she called me and told me it was melanoma she was surprised she didn't think that it was going to be anything it was a regular brown mole mm -hmm didn't look malignant or anything, didn't look bad. So it just kind of hit me, took me aback. Yeah, um, and my oncologist says that two years after treatment I can kind of breathe a sigh of relief mm -hmm. but not really until five years after treatment. So you work in the oncology department as you mentioned. How has this affected your, your work environment? I understand you folks paddle now together. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and I've been a paddler for 12 years. Now I 
completely cover myself with at least 70 mm -hmm. sunscreen and I wear long sleeves and I always wear a hat. Well, I spend a lot of time in the water and in the sun, obviously, so what advice do you have for someone like me who may not take the right precautions? Take the right precautions. Wear sunscreen, reapply it mm -hmm. frequently okay. because it does, it rinses off. Mm -hmm. So you, you just have to be really aware that whenever the sun is hitting you, it's it's really powerful. Those UV rays are just so powerful and can cause so much damage. Well, we're going to bring back Gus with Neil Pride and have him say a couple of words at this time. Uh, we just want to uh, let you know that your story has been inspirational to us and um, we are going to provide you head to toe with some coverage from here from the store. Wow! Flash guards, board oh shorts, my hat, gosh. eyewear, sunblock, everything. Thank Courtesy you so much. Thank you. Oh my goodness. So, exciting. so go pick out, pick out rash guard, pick out a suit, go try it on. Okay. And come back and check us out. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you very, You're very much. Welcome. Thank we appreciate you. it. Lisa, are you ready? Yeah. All right, come on out. What do you think? Hey, you look amazing. You look great. I feel great. Ah, well, this you have a wonderful. new rash guard, new bathing suit, new hat, new surf shorts, sunglasses. How do you feel? Great. Oh, have you ever been stand-up paddling? Never. Never. Well, Shauna from Neil Pride Maui is waiting for us at the beach, and let's get out there. Come on. Okay. <laughs> well, we left the store. We're out at the beach. It's a gorgeous day, and I'm here with Shauna from Neil Pride Maui, who's going to give Lisa a stand-up paddle lesson. Are you excited? Super excited. We're super happy to get Lisa on the water. We're taking it very slow. We're just going to get her on the boards first and get comfortable, relaxed. If you're comfortable and relaxed, balance is really easy. So it should be fun. How do you feel? You feel good? I feel great. That you was did so a, much fun. You did a great job. Thank Stood you. Stood up right away and stayed balanced. You were going pretty quick at one point. Yeah. It was a balance thing. That was a little bit hard, but, and I still feel a little tippy, but I had a great teacher here. Shauna was awesome. Awesome. Well, how do you feel about your day? Has it just been uh, such a wonderful experience? It's been fabulous. Oh. I love the sun. I love water sports, but I don't like the effects of the sun, so this has been great. The, the rash guard, the glasses, the sunscreen. Thank you, Lisa, for joining us today and sharing your inspiring story with us. We'd also like to thank Neil Pride Maui for keeping Lisa active in the water and in the sun. That's it this week for Making Over Maui. We'll see you next time. Shake, shake, shake on.